Hey all, this is Joyce from This Is That Creations. We're inspired to be original in all you do and just be you. Today I'm joining Flippin' Friday, hosted by Jamie, Board and Bananas DIY. Please make sure to check out her channel and also check out that playlist link down below with all those amazing DIYers. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. If you enjoy upcycling, trash or treasure, thrift flips for your home, please like and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget, hit me up on my socials. Now let's get crafty. Hey all, welcome. Let's do our DIY number one. This is a little box I got from the thrift store for a dollar. Has some little nicks in it and some scratches, but I like the character. We're gonna use our antique Waverly wax. And I got these little flower pot looking things at the thrift store in a goodie bag. Love them. Just gonna dunk our little baby wipe right into our lid. And I decided to use a little old paint brush to hold it. Worked perfectly. Now you can make this as light or as dark as you like, or you can choose a different color. We will be doing all four. I won't bore you showing all that. You get the drift. Don't you all just love those like goodie bags of the Goodwill when you get a variety of stuff? I do. I decided I'd sand down the box a little bit just because there was some roughness to it, but not real hard. Just a little simple sanding. I have these pieces in my stash off of some other project. I'm gonna use them as handles. They're little leather pieces and I love the worn look. Just grab some of that Gorilla Glue and put it right on. I also got these at the thrift store, Shocker. They're furniture, little, whatever you call them, little things you put in this furniture. <laughs> I can't think what they're called. We're just gonna place those in there. And yes, they are gold, and normally I don't like gold, but it looked okay with this project. I thought I would just give it the natural um, look, the worn look. You're gonna see my head a few times in these videos. My angle wasn't the best, but we're going with it. I did the projects. Now this little bugger was giving me a little bit of a hard time, so I decided to use my hammer to help me nail, um, nail it in. Then I'm gonna use my E6000. So this girl's trying to open it and it's got a hole. Does that happen to any of you? I need the smaller tubes so this doesn't happen. Yes, we are turning these into legs. We're gonna use a little bit of hot glue and E6000. Look at me just wiping on the side. I'm like, you're not going to waste, I'm using you. We will be putting four legs on. Now I got these jars, they've got like a purple hue to them. I got them, for, all of them for like $5 and they are just absolutely gorgeous. So this is a simple little DIY, of how you could just make decor pieces. And of course this girl has to lay it out first how she thinks she might want it. Then we're gonna grab our Waverly Antique Wax of course, because I can't just leave you know it alone. I have to do something with it. So we're just gonna dry brush some on there. You can do it as heavy or as light as you like. When I'm doing it, I just kind of go with what I like. A little extra here, a little less there. I think sometimes the best um, pieces are when you just kind of go with it. Don't overthink it. So I got these little, um, what are they called? 
Oh, heavens. I got them out in nature. Nature, people, <laughs> nature. <laughs> I can't think what they're called. Oh, heavens. Driftwood, there we go. Then I also got this bunch of flowers for $1.50 at my local thrift store, and they all look kind of dried, which is in right now. I'm just gonna find your placement where you want them. I absolutely love that flower. Even though it's out of camera, it's a beautiful flower. You'll see it at the end. You'll see me a few times change my mind. I just kind of lay it out, remove this, take this, cut this. It's just personal preference. Nope, not there. I love those little shears, they're very handy. So like I said, this is more of just a decor piece. If you're enjoying this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. I can't believe I found a bundle of these flowers at the thrift store for $1.50. And I'm just gonna lay another piece of the, what is it called again? Driftwood. <laughs> I can't remember that. Just for a little eye catcher, I put those dried leaves in the back. And that is simple, super simple. I hope it inspires you. Get creative, find the pieces at the thrift store. All right guys, DIY number two. Let's jump right in. Found this piece at the thrift store for $1.99, a little shadow box. I knew I just wanted to do something with it. I loved it. Look at me struggling with this tape. I'm like, come off. What the heck, come off. And then this girl's like, oh look, hmm, that's what scissors are for. Let's use a scissor sitting right next to me. Oh, I don't know about myself sometime, but at least I have a good time. You could do so many projects with this. I'm just gonna kinda go a little more simple in nature theme. time taking the glass out just like I'm having a hard time speaking today the struggles are real with me sometimes so I got that cork board from the crafting square at the Dollar Tree I'm gonna use a piece of that we're just gonna trace around our little um, back of our frame Guys, I just love the thrift stores. I really hope it inspires you to go to your thrift stores, find pieces you could change around. That's what I will hope. And I love that this is sticky. You can just stick it right on there. But to be extra secure, you'll see them in. I use my glue just to give a little dab at the ends or the corners. The corners, people. probably didn't need it, but I just thought I'd be sure. And that is celery. I did get a new bottle, but of course I'm going to use this first. I'm not going to waste any of that because this girl can't find Waverly chalk paint anywhere now. But I just love that celery color. I'm 
I'm gonna paint all over the sides and the bottom of the frame. Yes, I had the paintbrush in my mouth. That's what this girl does. Once I got that glass out, now I can just go ahead and not without a worry, without getting on the glass, paint around the front of the frame, our shadow box. And I'm grabbing my little friend, the heat tool that helps me along, speeds up that process quite nicely. Okay, so I have these little flowers. I got them off of another item. I cannot speak tonight, guys, bear with me from the thrift store. And I just took them off the wood because the wood was like falling apart and a mess, but I loved the flower, so I bought it. Now I'm just dry brush some of that celery on just to get a little character in the background. You don't have to do that. Then I'm grab the Waverly Yellow. And I want a lot of the wood to show through, but I wanted to add some color that would kind of pop but not pop too much, just a subtle pop. You could leave in wood, you can paint it darker, any other color. And then I'm like, hmm, nope. I gotta put some of that Waverly White chalk in there somehow. So let's just go ahead and uh, dry brush some on there. <laughs> but I actually love how it turns out. It gives it much more character and dimension. It's really hard to see on this video the color, but it does really pop in a subtle, subtle way. Just find your placement you like. I just went with it and decided to glue them on. So simple, but so cute. And I just love different pieces. When I glued these um, little leaves on, there was no rhyme or reason. I just stuck them on where I liked them. Now to put the glass back in. Struggles are real. I got it. This did come with two pieces of glass, but I only needed one. So I don't need to put the other one in. If you're enjoying this video and you want to follow me along on my journey, please make sure to subscribe. I'd really love to have you. I'm just going to put the piece back together, obviously. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, do I want to add wa Waverly Wax? Maybe I should clean up this with all my fingerprints on it. Hmm. Then I decided to use another one of those wood flowers that came off a piece of wood from the thrift store I paid for a dollar. And I just took them off and put them in my jar because I loved them and I knew I'd want to use them. And I was like, hmm, that's it. That's good. I like it just how it is. It is absolutely cute. I'm telling you, it doesn't show well in this video, but it turned out super cute. 